So today we're gonna go through different scenarios of using commas in English and I hope you're gonna remember them and uh, we're gonna use them correctly. But, okay, let's jump into commas. We're gonna look at 13 rules of using commas. Okay, rule number one. This one is pretty obvious, pretty straightforward. So here we go. Item in the list, comma. Item in the list, comma. And then you either use and or you just put a comma. So item in the list, item in the list, but it doesn't matter whether you use and or you do not use and, you still have this comma. Let's look at the example. I like eating oatmeal, comma, berries, comma, and cheese for breakfast. So obvious, very easy. You have a list, uh, you separate your objects in the list with a comma, and you put a comma before and. This is super important because I know in some languages, if you have and, you don't put a comma in a list, but here you do. There is strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla cupcakes in this cafe. Obvious. So the list could either consist of nouns or adjectives or adverbs, depends on your list. And there are two types of adjectives that I want you to understand. It's not about understanding rules, it's actually about feeling the language, but let me, let me explain it. So we have coordinate adjective and we have cumulative adjective. So let me explain using the examples. She is a fit, healthy woman. Can we say she is a healthy, fit woman? Yes, we can. Can we say she's healthy and fit woman? Yes, we can. Doesn't ring a bell, it sounds okay. If you answer yes to both these questions so you can change their order and you can put an and between them and the sentence still makes sense and it doesn't sound weird, then these are coordinate adjectives and we need to use a comma between them. So this is a really easy one. She's a fit, healthy woman because we can say she's a fit and healthy woman. She's healthy, fit woman. So this makes sense. Cumulative adjective. Th they just describe different things. Let's look at this sentence. I like wearing my blue silk dress. Like if you say, I like wearing my blue and silk dress, these sound like two different dresses. Blue and silk are two different categories of what you're describing about your dress. And when you say, I like wearing my silk blue dress. Again, normally the color comes first. So here, we can't really change the order. We can't really place and in between those. So there is no need for a comma here, okay? So you really need to make sure you understand the difference. But two main rules that I'm talking about, putting an and and changing places. Like if the, both of these rules work, then you have coordinate adjectives and you use a comma. Rule number three, a comma between two independent clauses. 